Hello, everyone. Thank you for uh, for stopping in. Let's see who all we got here. Uh, is, is it finite or finite or finite world? Amber John Homestead Discovery. Beautiful you are. Backwoods Rays. I spicy. Noah's Ark 1962. McRae. Southern Ark. Coco. Let's be lady. Well, thank you all for, for stopping by. So, yes, B Lady, how are you feeling? Absolutely. And, and we got to meet somebody today Pancake Man. Pancake Man. <laughs> yeah, we, uh, we met up with, uh, with Daniel since he's in our neck of the woods here and uh, met him for lunch today. Brenda Duncan, hello, everyone. Daryl Green Eyes. They're all green eyes, huh? <laughs> okay. Yeah, I suppose if Everett can be Pickle Man. <laughs> <laughs> so, you're writing and listening, beautiful you are. Okay. Well, I did not get any emails in regards to any particular subject matter that people might like to talk about tonight, so I kind of dreamt up my own here. And... Um, Thought we'd talk a little bit tonight about intros and outros, and we're not talking uh, navels here. We're not talking belly buttons. Um, mandarin uh, orange. Mandarin orange. <laughs> <laughs> how uh, how important are they? Well, I I guess it it depends on on the individual. I'm, I'm going to make an assumption here that most everybody in the chat is a creator, uh, or else you probably wouldn't be here in the, in the interest of editing videos. But uh, your intro and outro, um, what that is is a repeatable short bit of information, either at the beginning, thus intro, or at the end of a video, thus uh, would, would be termed an outro. A lot of uh, a lot of creators use them. It's uh, it's like a tattoo. It's a form of branding. It makes your channel instantly recognizable to somebody else. And just for grins and giggles, I uh, let me get it pulled up here. I went and grabbed a few channels that I'm aware of that have either intros or outros. So let's um, let me get this pulled over here. Okay. I have um, Homesteading with the Cases. I have their channel up here right now. And live streams are a little bit different uh, um, than, than creating a video and, and posting a video. So live streams do not necessarily have their own intro or outro. We do it here, as, as you saw if you were here when uh, the stream started. I have a screen that comes up every week. I create a one for our Monday night live stream, live shows. And I made a subset of that one for, for the Tuesday night things here. And then of course at the end, we have the, uh, the end screen. We have used one of our dogs as, as a mascot for the channel. And in his own right, he's gotten, uh, Gotten sort of famous, wouldn't you say, huh? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Um, People probably notice him more than they would us. Yeah. They, <laughs> if, if they see Smudge's face, they know it's Two Family Homestead. That's how um, Amber knew us in Tennessee. Did you not, Amber? Did you know who, who we were just by looking at her face? Or did you know who we were because of Smudge on the back of our shirt? Well, then it said two family. Well, yeah, that, that, was, that was a giveaway. That was a giveaway. 
But anyway, let's just take a, a quick peek at the beginning of, uh, of one of these videos. And I've not pre-looked at these. I'm making the assumption it's here, so we'll find out. We'll just uh, play this one. And of course we have the uh, mandatory ad here, which I am going to skip. There we go. Now how and Tina have a program, I believe that they purchased, that creates that uh, that intro scene. It has uh, sound, it has the same orange background, their name appears into it, then they put the title of their video down here, bottom, and it, uh, they use this on all their videos. I don't recall seeing the uh, camera thing like that before, but uh, again, the, the basics are there. Do they have an outro? Excuse me. Okay, this is this is our outro, and of course he, they they're now promoting Beer Commander and so forth. So that's the way Howard and Tina do it on their videos. The beginning of their videos are very recognizable. Um, there's someone I'm sure that everybody knows. Off grid with Doug and Stacy beginning of all of their videos I'm just gonna grab the last one here here we go all start out this way and in case you haven't noticed this screen right here that I have up on the screen is Filmora let me go grab it That is this screen. Of course, what they're writing in it. So, Doug and Stacy, they use Filmora. Absolutely nothing wrong with that. They also have an outro. Let me scroll to the end of the video here. Thanks for watching our video. You might want to check out and these what they, videos. What they do at the end of their videos, they have a picture-in-picture picture on a track where they have a short video clip that they put in here. The two items on the left-hand side here, these are these are cards from uh, that are inserted uh, thanks to YouTube. They've certainly encouraged that, and of course, a subscribe button. But the background here with their short video clip is, is an outro. So they always do that. It's a way to generate interest. It makes their, their brand stand out. Now we got somebody in the room here, so I'm going to pick on her just a little bit. Southern Ark Homestead. <coughs> um, <laughs> is, is she... Is she telling me to be quiet? Is she telling me to go away? Who? Nina. All right. I didn't see her speak up. I didn't see her speak up. I'm missing it then. She says, oh my Lord. That's all she said. <laughs> and I just grabbed one here. This one probably doesn't have it. I don't know. I just got it on the ground for now because like Oh I'm four minutes into this somehow. My fault my my bad. I'm sorry.
consider this to be Nina's intro. It's very cute. If I had to pick, I would say it's too long. But it is so cute. And she could do some... Well, it gets the point across where sushi is. Yeah. Bait. But she could do some chop editing so, on that and, and shorten it up some. But it's, I'm a hot man. That is, that is really cute. Does she have an outro? That flooring up we have this area left to break down that's it for me i hope you enjoyed these little snippets from my weekend until next on time on this particular video later. it doesn't appear that she has as an outro she just says so thanks for watching so i'm going to say that that's probably a little bit different every time a canned intro or outro is it's a short video that you just plug onto the front or plug onto the end of your creative project. Let's uh, let's take a, a look here at another one. Do you think they're necessary? Yes, I do. I do. Why? The so reason. People, so people know you. I mean, they'll it's, know you because they click on your name. It's a quick identifiable thing. It was like the Alka Seltzer Man years ago. Yeah. Coca Cola. <laughs> Uh, Pepsi Cola, um, Bush Beer, or Miller Lite. You know these because you see it all the time. It's the same thing, time and time and time again. Now, in the uh, homesteading community, um, this gentleman has probably the shortest intro of anybody, and that would be from Big Family Homestead. So let's just. Look very quickly. And obviously, it's monetized. My name is Kirk Cashmore. I started this farm in. That was it. Short and to the point. Very short, to the point. Probably no more than two seconds. Bandana has a question for you. Yes, Bandana. Uh, she's saying, feel more stuck at stage one, uploading my movies from iPad, iMovie, to Filmora on CPU, can't find file to upload, also have one in Dropbox that won't upload. Filmora doesn't show iMovie or Dropbox source. Right. Um, I guess... No, wait a minute, iMovie is a Mac. Is a Mac editing program. So what is it what is it you're attempting to do, I guess, is what I want to know. Do you have a non produced movie in iMovie that you want Filmora to take over? Is is that what you want to do? Nina wants to know how long do I make it? Chris, well, were your ears burning this afternoon? Is is it Nina or Nina? Nina. 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 That's that's up to you. If you want it to be thirty seconds long, and 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 that's your thing, by all means, do that. Um, and and I'm guilty of this. It's very very easy. To create something where it goes too far, it's it's too long. Um, people go, oh, I just don't want to skip through that. And the other nice thing about this is you can take that long intro and you can create maybe two or three more intros from that one that are shortened versions. So use the shortened versions on say 40% of your videos and use a medium version on 40% and on 20% you use the uh, the long version. She's saying, so I guess you're saying I need to upload my clips 
and re read it read it in Filmora instead of uploading my iMovie to Filmora. Absolutely. I, she well, films with her well, iPad. Okay, you film with your iPad. So it creates what type of a file? Is it a .mov? Is it a uh, MP4? I mean, it creates some sort of a file. And if you take that, you have your Filmora on a on a PC or on a Mac. I guess that would be my first question. She says she believes it's a dot .mov. Okay. And I, and I know that uh, that Filmora does read dot .mov files. It's a PC. It's a PC. <clears throat> and have you taken that file and put it on the PC and then tried to import it? In other words, is the file on the PC when you try to import? That, that's probably the most important thing. I would not try to grab that file from your iPad. I would place the file on the PC and then just import it into Filmora. Let me just show you very quickly here what, uh, what I mean. In your media, to import your media file here, you would want to go to someplace on your PC and grab that file. Well, she says she knows how to upload from iPad to YouTube. Okay. Do you know how to transfer that file from your iPad to your PC? Either with a thumb drive, with uh, a direct connection. What you want to do is you want to place that file on your PC. Create a folder on your PC that Call it your working folder and place that file into that folder. And what Filmora will do is it doesn't touch that file. It imports the file, if you would, and refers back to it at that location. So it has to have a good solid location. And if you have it on a different PC, that's could that or on a, on your iPad or something that that could be part of the problem. Well, she says she only knows how to upload from iPad to YouTube, and then she says she question even a desktop folder. Even a desktop folder is fine because it's, it's just as long as it's local on the on the PC. You should be able to take take that file and take it off the iPad, put it onto a thumb drive, plug it into your PC, and transfer it to your PC. You should be able to do that. And I, I, to me, that would be the the easiest way to do it quickly. Um, if you had a, a network set up where the computer and the uh, iPad talk to each other, then you could just transfer it through the network, either wired or wireless or whatever. But you want to get that file on the PC and then import it into Filmora. So I hope that answers that. Let me uh, let me go back to a couple of our examples here. Um, Off Grid Nation. Tommy, he is a uh, is another one. At the beginning of every one of his videos. There's nothing worse than a hillbilly with a head record. You all start like this. Now, I am ninety five percent certain. This beginning, you just you're watching right here. I'm 95% sure that Brad created this for Tommy. And I believe Tommy also has some outros. 
or running a ceiling fan during the day. It's all coming off of solar. Black hole summer, won't you come? Won't you yeah. So he's created this Black short video summer, where he has a picture in picture come? video clip on a static background, but it's a short piece of video. And it's a save file. He just tacks it onto the back of his created project. Now, everybody I've shown you here are, are I'm going to use the term homesteaders. Um, let's go into a very popular channel once, see what they do. It's off the ranch. I just, I kind of get a kick out of this channel. I, I like it a lot. Um, and they've got uh, Charles is here. rather large following. Does he have an intro? Y'all ready to go to school? No. I was supposed to do Lincoln's hair. And I totally forgot. He really Don't doesn't have hair. an intro. <laughs> he looks all right, though. He does a short thing in the beginning here, and then it kind of gets going. But he does have an outro. And you'll find this on, if not all, I'm going to say... 95% of his videos. I no longer live with the uncertainties of Hep C. One See, I have to fight through all these advertisements here. I let go. I should have just downloaded all this. Stuff. We'll see you next time. <laughs> We're not talking about killing people. Just say I want to murder you. Oh. <laughs> I can't work like this. Okay, he has that same finish at all his videos. And you could say that he's known for that. That's one of his trademarks that he does. So that's what we mean by intros and outros. You want something that I'm going to say has a little bit of movement to it, has a little bit of flash. It can have sound. It doesn't have to have sound. On the other hand, just the sound alone can can do that. Um, we have here, or maybe I should say that I have. Close. And this is out of the YouTube deal, but this is the tune. That play on every one of our videos. And I very beginning of the video somewhere between I'm gonna say as short as five seconds up to nine or ten. But that that clip always starts and ends every one of our videos, a, a, p a portion of that, that music. So that's our uh, um, trademark, if you would. Now with the live streams, I've just I've recently started with a little bit different tune on the beginning, but I, I've kept this one at the end of our live streams. Hi, Vinny G. Thanks for stopping in. Appreciate seeing you. And old Alabama Gardener. And for those of you um, on the fence or wondering about Filmora, Sherry surprised me with a, uh, with a video she created this past week that she did, slideshow type video, that she did in Filmora. And folks, you have to, you have to understand one thing, Sherry does not have enough of his patience. I mean, if something's not going right, I never it's, claim to be a doctor. <laughs> it's going across the room. <laughs> so she did this. She stayed up late one night and it did this. And uh, I had no idea, no knowledge of it. It created that. Uh, that, that nice little video, which I thought was uh, was very nice. So that was that was your first 
attempt at Filmora. And that was just, it hasn't been updated. That was the first one that you uploaded for us. When I uh, when I originally bought the program, I, I put a copy of it on, on her PC. And I, and I told her at that time, I want you to learn how to edit. Well, that that didn't go very far. So Daryl does almost all the editing. But now that I know she can do it, see. You will continue to. <laughs> <laughs> yes, be lady Sherry created that from scratch. She scanned pictures that she had. She put that all together. She put all the files together. Now, and, and that's the kind of thing that that you could do with Filmora as absolutely a complete beginner. Robin, you, you know me all too well. You know me all too well. <laughs> I would have thrown it out the front door. Ooh, ice cream. Bring us all some bandana. So let's uh let's do a quick look at some of the different things you could do with Filmora as far as, as an intro. Something that would be repeatable. Well, we ha hold on. I don't okay. mean to, don't mean to interrupt, but I know. Oh, here it is. Uh, Maniac Grammy's Homestead. I do have questions. When can I ask my internet coming and going? I'm not. I'm not sure. I follow that. When can I ask? Question: My internet coming and going. You can ask questions anytime, and oh, okay, and, and sure that will could be it. Yeah, pass them over to me. Yeah, I'm, I am not, I'm not formal here. I have no tie on. Vinny G wants to know if, if you've heard of video video co pilot. Um, off the top of my head, that that name does not ring any bell, but I've looked at a lot of programs. And McCray Family Homestead, can I take a shot out of a video and make it into an intro? Yes, you can. Yep. Can. Um, if if you notice what I just played there from um, Off the Ranch for his outro, all those were clips from various videos that he has created over time, and he's taken that very short snippet of uh, of a clip and just kind of bunched them together and made a a little montage, if you would, of funnier things than some of the videos that he's done. WKZZR Productions, dropping by to hit the thumbs up. Well, thank you. Glad to have you here. Okay. Right. So, Bill Mora has a lot of Titles, Southern openers. Art, sorry, Southern Art. So I sent you my intro video. If you want to show how to make a shorter one using the original. Oh. Where did you send it, Nina? Our Two Family Homestead at Gmail? Because I can go do that while Daryl's talking. Well, except I need to get it. Yeah, oh, that's right, because you need it on your computer. So... Hey, Half Acre Dreams, welcome. Okay. okay, you talk to him for a second. I'll just look here real quick. Vinny G, may I make a suggestion for the good sir? Absolutely. To check out the website video, copilot.com. Yep. Yes, I, I will certainly do that. And Robin is asking, can you show me how to cut a clip and make it into my intro? Yep, we can do that too, Robin. Okay, and Southern Ark said yes. She sent it to our Gmail. Okay. Bob, they have you on aspirin also? Yeah, I'm, I'm on the low-grade aspirin also. But the doctor wrote a prescription for his, and asking why, she said the prescription is cheaper than buying any of it over the counter. So, okay. Yeah, old Alabama gardener. I've been taking that aspirin a day 
since 09. Daryl since 08. <coughs> okay, Nina, um, the video is sitting out on Google Drive and I need permission, so I have sent you a request for access to that file. Oh, Robin, yeah, with your heart issues, yes, you would be also be on that. Maniac Grammy's Homestead. Have a new iPhone 8. I like Movie Maker, but can't figure this phone out. I asked for help where I bought it. They said they weren't tech support. Oh, that was nice of them. Where can I find out how to work it? I didn't even know iPhone had an 8 out yet. I thought 7, 7 and 7 Plus were the... 8 is out now. 8 is out. Obviously, she has yeah. one. Yeah, I have the iPhone 7 Plus. Put this in your memory bank. Uh, yeah, right, Grizz. Memory bank? I'm old. Next garden season, season, let your radishes go to seed pods. I, Grizz, this is the first year that we've planted radish, and all of a sudden there's these little pods. I couldn't figure out what they were, and then it, it dawned on me, those are the seed pods, I guess. So if I dried them out <coughs> and open them up like the beans, I suppose I can plant those next year, but that's a good idea to put them in stir fries. Thank you for that. Bandana grandma, that sounds good, but I wouldn't want, I'm not a chocolate person. I need to check out that peanut butter powder. Oh, June, you should see Daryl. He just has to look at something and he'll either get a, a, a bruise or start bleeding like crazy. Okay, Nina said it's done. Right here. All right, we'll come in here. <coughs> okay, what I've done is I've downloaded Nina's intro that, that she uh, hey, shared with us. Homesteading with the cases is in the house. Oh, we used them as an example earlier. Yes, ears we did. Must have been burning. They, they must have. So we'll uh, import her, her video Type here. Easy R. Um, let me remember where I put it. There we go. <coughs> Big screens here. Welcome. Okay, so this is this is the file that that Nina has uh, has sent us. Just quickly play it once. Oh, I'm not hearing anything. I'm not sure why, but I have no audio with this. Well, maybe there isn't any audio right here. You play music in the background. But. <coughs> he wants to, uh, let's, do, let's, let's show another feature that's. Uh, she did speed it up. <laughs> that's available here. Once you have the video clip, I guess maybe I'm in the way here. Let me uh, let me change the screen so you can see a little better. Okay. So what you're looking at here is the Filmora screen. This is Nina's video intro, her sushi intro. If we just highlight this at the, at the top, they have a feature in Filmora called scene detection. It's not perfect, 
but not, none of the uh, things like that are. What it will do here is it will go through this clip and it will break it into, I don't know what algorithm they use, but it'll break it into sections. Just give you more of an idea as to something to do with the, with the clip. So we'll just, like I say, this is a quick and dirty method to do this. Okay, and this has actually, through their algorithm, has made the determination that there are 32 different scenes within this just over or around a just over a minute video clip one minute 23 seconds i guess so we'll say uh, we'll say apply and it's working what is what this is doing at this point in time this is taking this clip it's going to put it onto the timeline here and it will have 23 cuts in the original clip. You can go in and you can edit out, very quickly chop out different pieces. So now let me spread this timeline out so you can see better. Can you, I'm hoping you can see all of these individual little clips that this program just made the determination that there's been a been a change. So if we play this, the way that it sits right now is just exactly how we received it. Now, like I said, I'm going to do this a very quick and dirty dirty method. I'm going to go through and I'm going to delete every other clip. Just to see what it does. And obviously I've not worked with this. I've, I've not put any time into it. Robin says, cut out the part where she butchers the yummy sushi. <laughs> Amber, if you find one, send me over some, okay? <laughs> yeah, Daniel, we did have a big lunch. And I know I've missed a couple here. I'm take this other big one out. Okay, so I've taken a one minute and 23 second clip and I've reduced it now down to uh, 46 seconds. I've not, obviously I've not seen it. So let's just. Now this may be a little choppy because I'm not pre-rendering it. Let's just see what it, what it does here. I guess I left the butcher part in. <laughs> Isn't who a Dr. Seuss character? Of oh, the Grinch? Okay, so that's 
that's what this program did and me just randomly pulling sections of the of the thing out the the context is still there um another thing you can do is you can take given sections like of the fishing and, and speed up just that section especially if you don't don't have sound in it and you can you can speed that up or you can slow it down i think she said she does speed it up on mm -hmm. hers mm -hmm. um i'm going to say with, with a bit of work you could get this down into the 10 12 second bracket So anyway, where are we going with this? You know, what I'll do is I'll, I'll play with this some more offline. I think people have have an idea of some of the capabilities you can do here. But I'll play with this more offline, and we'll send it back to you, or perhaps uh, we can show it again next week, just just to show what we did. So let me. Uh, Now, I can also share with everybody in the room here that between my PC, doing the chores of the live stream, running all the encoding, <coughs> three monitors, <coughs> a, uh, a sound system here to uh, for the audio. By the time I start editing videos on top of it, it, it starts getting getting a bit taxed. So things are not necessarily as smooth as they would be if okay, I were not so doing that. Please show me how to take one of my videos of Olivia, which is her little pig, and use a snap of it for an intro. So taking like a snippet of her of one of her videos and using that for an intro, I'm sure is what Robin is saying. Okay. Um, Amber, I don't drink coffee, so that's not going to help me at all. See if I can come up with a quick example here. Robin's ready. We have her attention. Okay, this is the uh, the three minute promo that we did for for Cab Seven. Um, I'm gonna move to this point with a with a lettering on. Let me mute the clip so we're not hearing any sound. And I'm just going to scroll through this. Okay, I have a, as you can see, we, we've transitioned from, I have a picture in picture here, which is um, a portrait picture that I, that I took out of one of his videos. And I have Smudge fading into the scene with the microphone as another picture in picture. And then I make a, a flash in the background going from this scene to this scene without um, affecting smudge of the microphone. So I've taken the, the original background here and I've I've modified it. This whole first section here, these are all just 10 second, I believe, uh, pictures that are sitting here. And then I just merge them into the next picture. 
use a flash between it just to show a little bit extra. So I'm painting here in this garden. And these were all just, just pieces that I took out of his videos. Well, of course, came to the birdhouses. We went back to this original scene, put it back in. So I made a copy of it, and put it back in. And then I started adding some titling. So his description on the YouTube page was added in with a movie background. And then from that, and what I did was a voice overlay on this. So I created the video first and then I did the voice on top of it. So then as soon as that goes away, I faded into one of his actual videos and I just used 30 seconds or so of it. And this is his actual video, just a very short video piece. And then that was faded out back into the end of the thing. So there's a lot of things going on in this three minute time period. But if you're gonna make a, a promo, you gotta have a lot of stuff going on. You wanna make it interesting for people to come and watch the show. You want to you want to highlight your your guest. You want to show show him in a in a good light that makes people want to come and watch the show. Hopefully I've been able to do that in most cases with everybody. And I know we have a with a couple of our former guests have have uh, while well, they're in the chat here right now, and you know we, we we try very hard to do that. So, given that three minute, and and that's a self imposed limit, right at three minutes, put a lot of stuff in there. It's kind of tough, but I can take. For example, I'm going to cut this right here where the wording is just fading away. And I'm going to go right here and cut that as well. So I now have this section in the middle. I'm going to copy it. Oops. And I'm going to put it at the end of the video. Now, I didn't take it out. I just made a copy of that piece. <laughs> Bandana says, you've done that well, Daryl. Looking forward to having you make me look good, too. <laughs> when is she scheduled for? Did, mm -hmm. she, did, she just, did she just say she wants to be on the show? Is that what she just said? Well, she told us she wanted to, but okay. it would have to be after August. August is now past. August is now past. Yeah. And we're already into um, December. December. Okay. Yes, Bob, we do have great viewers. We we certainly do. So at just so you have a, a better definition of where the video ended, I'm going to put in a uh, Kelly May. Good evening. How are you? I just put in a a, a black color sheet, if you would. That's uh, by default at five seconds. So the video ended here. It stops. But this is the piece that I cut out of the center of the video. Now I could, based upon what it is, I mean, I could delete everything else in here. and just save that very short video piece and then I could add it to any other video at any other time. <coughs> if I want to, I can take that, this clip, 
We'll copy it again. It's probably already in memory, but we'll just hit the copy again. Now I guess it'd be a little tough to do that. Yeah, it's not going to let me pull it down. But if you save this off to the side, you could then put it as a picture in picture on another video. So you could have your intro as an overlay where it's just using up a section of your screen. But one of the things you, that's very easy to do, let me just get rid of this stuff. Okay, so once I cut the section I want, can I delete the rest of the video <coughs> and paste a... in the cut part and save that and use it as my new intro? Yes, yes. When, when you have what you want on your timeline, produce it, make it into a file, and save that off to the side. And then you can you could have a folder on your PC that has these are my various intros. These are uh, different funny clips that I want to assemble or or work on further later. You can then import them to any project that you have and use them how you see fit. And you can further edit them because. When you produce them, you are actually creating a, a hard video file of just that clip. We're having a couple's dispute here. Coco and Discover E. <laughs> uh oh. Yeah, I know. It's over Grizz. Oh my. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, anyway. Um, you know, Night, Daniel. Thank you for stopping. Time is absolutely flying here. So let me, let me. And it was great meeting you today. Let me uh, quickly go back to what I. Yeah, we have seven minutes. Okay. To what I wanted to show you from, from the beginning here. Filmora has a lot of moving uh, text credit type screens. And we touched a little bit last week on how we can modify those screens. But you can take one of these and create an intro out of it that has your wording. The same sort of thing as what um, Off Grid with Doug and Stacy have done. The exact same sort of thing. So, but you know, you can preview these here as to, as to what you want. Um, All right, just grab that one. I'm just grabbing things at random. Here's the background piece, and then the text box is down underneath. So I'm gonna move the text box aside. I wanna see what the background alone looks like. The background in this particular case is just a yellow, yellow background. So all of the all the do-good stuff is in this file right here. This is creating all of this. So they had this on yellow. I don't want it on yellow. I'm going to go back to my media, my color board, and I'm going to put it on purple. Bring this back over here. So now, instead of being that yellow background by default, I have the same thing on a purple background. My color, my item. I can, and I'm going to extremes here, but I'm trying, trying to make a point and, and do things quickly. By stretching this out, it has absolutely slowed everything down. Let's stop it. 
go back into the, into the uh, title file, shrink it back down, go back into the text credits, uh, grab something else here. Hey, Jenny, that's fine. Life gets in the way sometimes. Glad you're here. So by using a combination of various items within the bone stock Fillmore program, you can create an intro video or an intro piece to do with all of your videos. And save that as an MP4 and then just add it to the front of whatever your next production video would be. Now, I hope that gives gives somebody some ideas. And that's that's the whole reason I'm doing this. I'm not I'm not trying I'm not here trying to tell you how to do anything. I'm trying to show you some different ways. I'm trying to light an inspiration within you if you would. Cuz it needs to be your creation. It can't be my creation. It has to be your creation. John uh, says, uh, last video on our porch we did, it was too dark. I tried to make lighter, but the video was bad. He said he wished he could fix it. Well, sometimes you can enhance, but if it's, if it's too bad, there's not much you can do. Let me uh, eliminate this stuff, go back into because I have this here. <clears throat> the first thing you can try to do, and most editing programs have this, is they have what's called an auto enhance. So that's the first thing you want to try to do because that will make everything just a little cleaner and sharper. It may not be the look you're after. You can always undo it. But that would be the first thing. If you, there, there's a lot more features within Fillmore that, that you can utilize. There's a contrast tool, which I'm hoping that's coming across that you can see the shadowing change by moving the contrast back and forth. And of course the color saturation. The overall brightness. I can make it a lot darker, or I can make it brighter to the point where it's washed out. There's also tint available. This is giving it kind of a pinkish purple cast and kind of a greenish cast, so you can move those around. Uh, there's 3D LUTs over overlays, um, make it look like a black and white film. Um, and they've just they've given it names. Um, look, look, hear what they call gravity or Star Wars or so. There's there's a lot of different things you can do, but if it's too bad, <laughs> I mean, it's, it's Coco, still Coco very wants to know if you can give the sushi googly that googly eyes that's smiling at us. Well, sure it is. See this. Hey, all sorts. Well, what we probably could do, let's see here. Uh, the elements. No, Chad, you weren't around yet. Trust me. You're just a kid. <laughs>
Money Lives of Dobie Gill. That's what it was. There you go, Coco. Is that work for? <laughs> so anyway, folks, it's nine o'clock. Homesteading with the cases is on, and I want you to go over there and tell them we sent you. And. Well, that's great, Kelly. Nice to know when you can find somebody online that, that's relatively close. Honey, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to shut her down because it's after nine. Yep, yep. Uh, homesteading with the cases is on. Yes, please uh, jump over there. Let's jump over there and, and show them some support also. Been a great evening. And we'll, uh, we'll do more next week. If you have questions, please email me. If you have a topic you want to talk about, please, please email me. Amber, message me on Facebook about that, and I will I can send you the link on Facebook. Thanks, everyone, for stopping by. I'll pass real quick. Take care. Wish you all well. Have a great week, everyone.